Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy to uh, be here, and I'm quite honored to speak after the um, Ambassador of Uruguay. Currently, my prime minister is on his visit to Latin America. I think uh, Latin America is nowadays a very beloved place that the, the Russian president was there, a Chinese president was there, and the Japanese prime minister is there. And uh, somehow he just also that mentioned about the Saka. And uh, that is also a very good interaction for my own presentation because uh, the Mr. Donfield is so knowledgeable about the Japanese cultural policy and the cultural diplomacy. So it is a good choice for me to focus more on the Japanese, um, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, on, the, on, the, on the point of the, uh, the public relations, so to say that the uh, uh, public diplomacy, uh, rather to not just to talk about the uh, cultural diplomacy, but more focusing on this issue. I have also that my own personal background to talk about this because I have studied both in Japan and Germany the journalism. And uh, that was just uh, by chance that I have just uh, joined the foreign ministry. Otherwise, I could have uh, become a, a journalist. And uh, uh, I still see that uh, Japanese policy from the eye of the journalist sometimes, and that how, how far we are good, how far we are bad on the issue of building up a good public image. Um, but uh, I don't want to, uh, the boy, you just talk about the Japanese uh, policy. There should be also some connection to Germany because the theme is that the uh, cultural diplomacy in Germany is that the today's, so to say, the topic. So, um, so I would like to start with the, uh, so to say, uh, a part where everybody knows that how German Germany has gained his so to say, the absolute positive image. It was 2006 that the, uh, when the, the Germany has hosted the World Cup. And that is the, so to say, the start of the, 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 the change of the whole image of Germany uh, as a whole. I think everybody heard of it, but uh, I think, uh, I, I know the Germany from the 80s, but uh, this is the very first time that I see that Ge German national flags are everywhere on the street and people do not feel shy to show it. Uh, 2014 is another chance to, to see that how it has changed. Some people say that there are more flags. S some people say it is the same, it is a less. But in any case, I think I don't feel that uh, people are shy that showing that uh, or, or his own national pride by presenting that uh, his own uh, national flags on the street. If it is going to be the case in Japan with that Japanese national flags on the street, people are going to say to you, you are nationalist. So uh, the, the tremendous difference between Japan and uh, Germany is that, the, that there is a big uh, change of the dynamics of the public image of the Germany in 2006, where J Japan is still struggling with that, uh, the, the gaining of positive image on its own country. Um, the, uh, by the way, that 2006 is that the host of Germany. Do you remember that 2002? 2002 is that the host of Japan and South Korea both. And this is also that uh, what uh, Mr. Donfrey said, that the cultural diplomacy, that to hosting two countries who are not, who has uh, very difficult uh, historical backgrounds, to host uh, in a joint manner is that also a way how we are going to also that provide uh, the, the, the drive of our cultural diplomacy. That the soccer, the football is really a political uh, the, uh, the framework to improve its own image, but also that to improve the connection to its own uh, neighboring country. As said, having said so, uh, just take a look on maybe that uh, half or the most of you uh, uh, aware of the, uh, one uh, uh, very famous, uh, the, the BBC's country's rating poll. Uh, this is the, uh, the recent one, uh, showing that Germany is number one. That uh, the question is about, uh, is this country uh, give a good influence to the world? And uh, the 60% uh, the of the asked person said that Germany is influencing the world in a positive manner. Whereas only the eighty percent says no, Germany giving a negative connotation to the word. Um, Japan is rated to the fifth, 
actually Japan is gradually going going down. Uh, the big issue is that the, we are gaining more negative image, uh, especially from the neighboring two countries, South Korea and China, uh, rates us very negative recently. And uh, this has somehow influenced us to drop down from the number one or two, uh, which is our sort of constant seat uh, until uh, some years ago. Uh, the interesting uh, is that not only showing that the positive or negative and rating, but uh, you want to know what is, so to say, the, uh, the, 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 how it has developed uh, throughout the years. And here's another, so to say, uh, uh, the uh, table, which shows that uh, how the public image has improved or the, rather the uh, declined uh, negative manner. Uh, this is, so to say, that positive image minus negative image. Germany is still almost the number one. Uh, and uh, it is pity that it, the survey has only started from 2008. When it has started sometime like the 2000, there should have been a very big change of the Germany uh, from 2006. And if we come to Japan, Japan is declining recent years for several reasons. Of course, that uh, difficulty with the neighboring countries, but also maybe our disaster in Tohoku. Uh, the, uh, the Germany is still a very positive country for Japan, but many, Japanese, uh, many Germans see that Japan is not a, a positive country. Uh, whereas that 60-70% uh, uh, of the people in UK or France uh, feel that Japan is a very positive country, only 28% of the German people said that Japan is a positive country. Uh, the, one of the maybe that uh, the reason is the uh, that, that the our uh, policy of the energy mix is maybe that reason that uh, German feels Japan is not such interesting, influencing that the whole world in a positive manner. Uh, and one another very interesting phenomenon on on this table is that uh, Japan and uh, uh, the European Union ha both have a very similar uh, change of the of the course actually that the popularity of the uh, European Union and Japan is almost the same throughout the several years and uh, both of them are losing a positive image I think uh, it is worth to and uh, the analyze on this but uh, I think uh, due to time constraints I just go forward on it uh, one big topic is that the in Japan Germany is always understood in the context of Europe uh, if the Japanese newspaper reports about the Germany, it is always in context of Europe. I think uh, most of European countries do not feel that Germany is representing Europe, but uh, if it is come to Japan, it is quite the case. Uh, whereas the not a single German newspaper feel that the Japan is representing Asia. Japan is Japan, and Asia is Asia. So uh, you're going to also ask that the Japan is losing a lot of the positive image. So the other countries in Asia are gaining the positive image, so killing with each other. That is sometimes a zero-sum game. This is not the case. Uh, the neighboring countries are also losing a positive image at the same time. Um, there is one very interesting uh, the report, uh, the analysis of the Juto Deutsche Zeitung and uh, Nikkei uh, newspaper on the issue of the public image, Japan and Germany in the newspapers. But I'm going, I have to also skip, skip it too for the sake of the next speaker. Um, and uh, uh, the national image is not only about the actual um, security or the economic policy or its consequences, uh, which is quite the case on our diplomatic circle. But uh, most of the people do not have much of information they do not have much of time. And uh, the globalization and uh, Facebook and the all the other internet uh, resources made it even more difficult actually to have a, a right image of a country because you have too much information. You don't have much time to think about the public image of a, a country or even to know about what the country is. So, um, so the... Uh, so to say that image strategy is even more important in a way to give you, uh, so to say, uh, the your own estimate to one country. And there are, I would say that, four different 
uh, the, the elements which is going to create your own public image to a country is that the first of all the um, first of all the, um, the its own past uh, the tradi uh, history and tradition maybe that both Japan and uh, Germany do not have a positive image on his own history but uh, if it comes to the tradition I think uh, it is qu uh, quite a positive in two countries uh, the second thing is that goods, products, and technologies, which is maybe one of the resources for us Japanese to have a positive image. If we think about the Japanese cars or the cameras and so on, uh, th these are, and uh, we have actually tried to use this positive image to our own national image. Whereas these companies are not necessarily keen to have the positive image of Japan to buy the things. I had recently a very interesting talk with the uh, head of a um, very well-known Japanese automobile company here in Germany. And he says, actually, we are not so much interested in the image of Japan because we are well-known and everybody knows that uh, we are the Japanese company, but the positive or negative image of Japan do not influence a lot selling our cars here in Germany. Um, he said, at the same time, but this is not the case in Middle East or the Africa or the some Southeast Asian countries that the uh, Japanese positive image actually that the promotes the sales of the car. So um, interesting phenomenon once again is that uh, maybe German people do not have necessarily a very positive image of Japan. They are not selling well, or maybe that they know too well about us, so they just differentiate from one to the other. Uh, the third is that the, the culture itself um, sometimes like uh, the, the, the tra traditional culture, the no or the um, kabuki or wha what's going on, the, uh, the tea ceremony, all these things providing us an uh, image of mysterious, traditional, and high cultural country. But at the same time, it, it is about also the movies or the music and so on and so on. Uh, and uh, this is also that uh, for us uh, very important now, how we are going to um, uh, the the use the image of the, um, the the current pop culture like a Pokemon or the whatever the animes which we are not so much good at uh, from the embassy to have an outreach to that but we are now trying and um, one of my colleagues ha j just had to have his own cosplay to go there and uh, next month I have to have also the one so that we are going to co co uh, connect our image to that, um, the, um, the, 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 the up-to-date culture image. Uh, I think that uh, South Korea is a very uh, successful case to have its own, with Kanam style, a very positive image of its country. Um, but but uh, honestly, that is that is a very important part. Germany could do also that even better. I don't know, with the Chilaka music or something like this. Um, the fourth is the um, persons. Uh, the most important is that head of state and government, but other celebrities like athletes. I think uh, the, the Japanese see that German people um, f through Oriba Khan some time ago, uh, I think it is just replaced by the Goethe or the, or the other soccer players. So um, this is absolutely important that the, uh, each personality is going to provide the positive image, which is going to also that influence us. Um, and also that the, uh, the, the way these each person see one country is sometimes very important for us. Um, uh, after the, uh, the earthquake and tsunami and the whole Fukushima story, um, the, the many people actually that in the world had just uh, tried to um, persuade uh, once again the positive image of Japan or just, uh, just uh, praying for us or just assisting for us, which is actually that, uh, uh, forming another image of uh, Japan itself. So the person is quite important. In this manner, I think uh, the, the, um, uh, the uh, we are actually uh, have a very difficult, very much of difficulty as our um, uh, the administration. The Prime Minister Abe is suffering from his very negative image and uh, that the international media have been new uh, labels him as a nationalist or a revisionist. So uh, the uh, w very important, uh, so to say, that strategy, what the current administration is striving for is that providing another image of him, a very short, but something positive. Uh, the very successful case was that the um, Prime Minister 
Koizumi, uh, which is quite, I think, uh, still even more popular here in, here in Europe rather than in Japan, uh, because he's, he's known as a reformist and he's going to change Japan. That's a kind of positive image he just sustained to be fresh uh, in his whole administration, which is quite a rare case. Um, and uh, the having said so, uh, image is not the whole story. There should be also that what is actually going on. If you ask ask me that the, how the Japan is that going, uh, doing is that the not necessary that uh, the continuing our cultural diplomacy, but rather take more notion on the uh, um, the public relations. So uh, the prime minister himself was in Davos or Shangri-La dialogue or the um, foreign minister was the Munich Security Conference. Everybody tried to talk in front of the people, which is not our, so to say, the best uh, the um, character uh, characteristic at all. But uh, somehow we are trying to persuade the message through the uh, various think tanks or the public um, uh, opportunities. So the Japanese government increasing uh, his, its own budget for overseas um, public relations. For example, the prime minister's office uh, just um, uh, the, the increased its own budget line four times uh, bigger than the last fiscal year. And uh, it is mostly going to go to the um, think tanks or the others somehow they are the, the the Tokyo is more interested in the um, providing the facts, uh, what is going on, what is the truth, uh, to build up an image rather than that just uh, striving the image itself. Even though there is a, a cool Japan or Japan branding, which is actually the overall our strategy to get provide a positive image of Japan, but this is actually I would not say secondary, but uh, the most important is that the rather the trying to give the facts uh, the so a aspect of the um, uh, public relations rather the image strategy. So um, I'm rather the person that working for the image building of uh, the Japan. So uh, now I have to also change my mind to provide more uh, of the facts, what is going on and uh, what is the truth and what is the, the numbers and so on and so on. Um, uh, the uh, last thing uh, is that the, um, um, uh, which is also that uh, very important for us is once again also the uh, sports. Uh, the Olympic 2020 is that the milestone for us to provide the positive image of Japan once again. I think this is the overall phenomenon uh, like the if you just uh, take up the several examples, also the in Asia, the Seoul Olympic is that the, the, the time when the, the, the South Korea has just graduated its own image of the Janta regime. Uh, China has also tried to provide the positive image through the uh, Shanghai Expo and the Beijing Olympic game. So, uh, and Japan itself was that uh, the 1964, 50 years ago, when we have just started with the providing that next image after the war. So uh, 2020 is going to be another milestone for us to providing a positive image of Japan. We are just struggling what is going to happen, but the uh, city is going to change and the image is going to change too. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Mashida. And I think this issue of public image and public diplomacy is essential. I think very much also when we talk about cultural diplomacy, it's very much that question. How is a country presented abroad? Mm -hmm. How is it perceived abroad? Mm -hmm. And what is the reality? And mm -hmm. very often you have disconnects. And I think that's exactly where cultural diplomacy can assist, to yeah. try to correct misinformation, yeah. supplement partial information. Mm -hmm. So we very much appreciated your presentation. We are running behind time, but I do want to allow for at least one comment or question, uh, and then we'll immediately go to the ambassador of Portugal, who I'm very happy to uh, welcome uh, at the Institute. I see a hand way in the back this time, so if we could maybe bring the microphone, and as always, if you could stand and briefly introduce yourself, try to keep your question concise as well as the answer, and we'll be okay, please. Uh, hello, I'm Ibrahim from Morocco. I actually have two small questions for mm -hmm. you. Uh, first, do you think that uh, changing the peace constitution as uh, the Abe administration tries to do will have a negative effect on mm -hmm. uh, Japan's image mm -hmm. and Japan's cultural diplomacy? Mm -hmm. Second, do you think that to have a positive image uh, in the world and in the international system, uh, Japan needs to do reconciliation with South Korea? 
Sorry, uh, the, the second question was again, please. Um, uh, do you think that in order for Japan to shine uh, in the international system as a peaceful actor, does it need uh, to do reconciliation with South Korea? Okay, uh, the first question is that the something what we are also trying to give that more facts on the issue. So this is a good chance to do so. Actually, we haven't changed our constitution. Uh, the uh, Very short to say, we haven't changed. The world has changed. Uh, the um, actually what what we are now trying to uh, create with a new situation and uh, to be more assertive on the peacekeeping operation or the more to work with our allies actually that something which is far behind the Germany is going to do and we are also that carefree also that uh, uh, seeing that what the German Germany is uh, has done and uh, is uh, doing. And this is also not the uh, administration which is going to uh, decide in the end. This is now in the diet session. So they have to create maybe more than 10 different type of uh, the laws amended to work for that. And uh, the, the thing is that we haven't decided to change our constitution, but rather to adjust to the circumstances. Uh, second question, the reconciliation is a very important issue for us. We are trying also our best. And uh, as I said, in uh, 2002, we have co-hosted World Cup, which is not easy for the two countries, maybe if they are in a very difficult situation. But uh, the neighboring um, um, the policy is that always up and down. And uh, we have a very difficult uh, uh, the, uh, time to go. But if I just uh, quote that, what the, uh, the German president has said also the to, um, to to Chinese president on the issue of the, so to say that the, uh, uh, the past issue is that the both sides should also try. So uh, the Japan has still a room to try. And uh, some other countries also that uh, has to also to show, show their own tolerance on this issue. But this is a very, very long process. I think uh, I have just shown that uh, uh, the whole table, Germany has a very positive image, but there are two countries actually, which is not such positive, is that Spain and Israel. So this is a continuous, um, so to say, uh, the uh, process we cannot finish now we have just finished with all these things. We have just started with the new thing. That is not the case with the Israel. And the, on the other hand, Germany should also struggle with that uh, the posi uh, possible negative image through the Euro crisis. Germany is not helping us. So uh, I think uh, there are the this is this is just a process. This is not just a, here's you have just uh, passed the exam. That is something what I can say for the time being. Thank you very much. And, and I have to also add. What uh, Tokyo said, that I, I talk uh, with my own personal capacity. I think this is also the case with the whole other uh, honorables. Thank you very much. Let's express our gratitude, Mr. Tatsuya Mashida. Thank you very much.